Last fall, the board felt that water in the drought was the most pressing is issue in town. Many people were concerned about it and had lots of questions, and yet didn't know where to go to get more, more information. So we decided to host our first spotlight forum on water. Yet we always knew in the back of our minds that traffic and pedestrian safety was an ongoing concern for, concern for most residents and would likely be the next spotlight topic. Educate Hopkinton hosted a public forum at the Hopkinton Center for the Arts called Spotlight on Traffic and Pedestrian Safety. Panelists included Hopkinton Police Chief Edward Lee. Uh, we rely on input from the public. Um, a lot of people might be hesitant to call, but you can always call in a, uh, an anonymous complaint. You don't have to give your name, uh, and uh, whether it's a, uh, a problem that's ongoing or an issue that uh, someone just uh, saw on the road. Um, we call dispatch 508-497-3401 and you uh, express your pro uh, problem to the uh, dispatcher. So that's not the emergency line? No, 911 is the emergency line. Okay, because just because I think sometimes people are hesitant to call because it's not an emergency maybe, but it's there's something wanna, they want to log sort of in the system. Yeah, Any time there's an emergency, it's 911, and you may see a traffic incident that is an, uh, emergency. Is an emergency. Department of Public Works Director John Westerling. And I wonder what would be the process for us to be able to make a small right turn lane out of Chamberlain going on to Route 85 because currently the traffic backs up predominantly for the people turning left <laughs> off of Chamberlain heading toward downtown. For those people that would like to turn right from time to time, if we had a little bit of a lane, we might be able to smooth out the traffic flow. So that's a very good suggestion. And what we can do is to look at what the existing right of way width is there. And if there's sufficient room in there, we can look at the potential of adding that right-hand turn lane. Uh, do you experience significant backups there in the mornings or in the evenings? Yes. yes. And especially with the potential. I mean, if, if that's something that's going to be coming, if it's, if it's coming forward with, uh, as part of a subdivision plan, then you know, that might be a, an off-site improvement that the planning board can look at requiring of the developer. Depends on the timing of that. But we, we'll certainly take a look at what the existing right-of-way is. And Director of Land Use and Town Operations, Elaine Lazarus. So could you tell us a little bit about the process when a developer comes into town and proposes something, how does the town look at traffic and pedestrian safety? Who is involved? Sure, thank you. Yeah. Uh, so with each application for development uh, comes a traffic analysis. So every applicant has to look at the current situation, what's the traffic like there now. They look at what that development's going to contribute to the traffic situation. And then they also look at what else is happening, what other growth is going on, the, the background growth. So without a development, it may already be the case that the traffic's already going to grow by 15%. So they factor all of that into their analysis, and then they identify any mitigation that's needed uh, in the vicinity, typically, of the project. Um, unfortunately, um, when these traffic analyses are done and looked at by, say, the planning board, um, they're looking at the impact of that development only. So um, they'll look at the immediate area, they'll look at various intersections, but they can't look at the town as a whole. So by law, they're constrained to the impacts of that particular development. So it's very important um, that each development is looked at individually and each developer is on the hook to basically fix what they break. The panelists received questions from EHOP and community members in attendance about various roads and road work projects in town. One of the topics discussed was the Main Street Corridor project. The, the, the area of the Main Street Corridor project is roughly from Ash Street to Wood Street. A couple of improvements just beyond, but that's the corridor. Yeah, th this is a, a big project that's been really researched and in development for many years now. MassDOT um, is going to be funding a large part of it. So it's my understanding we're in the pipeline for potentially $8.2 million dollars from Mass Department of Transportation in FY19. It goes back a number of years and has changed from, I'd say it may be a purely appearance and economic issue to one where pedestrian and traffic safety um, and bicycle safety is, 
is of equal importance to the project. So it has really been a 20-year project in the making. You can view the full forum on the HCAM YouTube page, youtube.com slash HCAM TV.